Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit the projectile settings and make the projectile and the first person projectile shooter not uh, affected by gravity or more affected by gravity. So it's actually really easy, but it's in a very interesting and weird place. So let's open up this first person projectile here. Let's hop into the viewport here. And basically, you have to click this part, the first person projectile here. Now, if you're, if you're, for example, clicking here, and then you click to this first person projectile um, in the event graph, it's not the same thing, right? So if we click the first person projectile here, and um, is it here? Yes, it's right here. Uh, click on this here, projectile movement component, okay? And there's a couple things that you can do. So first of all, let's change the gravity to zero. So what do I mean by that, actually? So you can see here, it, it's affected by gravity. So, you know, a lot of times you don't want it to be affected by gravity. So you push zero here. And that way it shoots wherever you want. And then, of course, it bounces. So if you don't want to bounce, you can just do that. Right, but the problem is they stay there. Um, so you want to make sure that you destroy those, you know, kind of on impact, and that will require a little bit of extra code. Just for fun, what happens if we do negative one? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, look at that! It adds negative gravity. I didn't think you could do that, but here we are. Now, also, you can change the maximum speed. So let's say you want ten thousand. You know, you can make it go faster here. That's much, much faster, uh, you know, and I think that looks it looks quite a bit better. Uh, initial velocity in local space. So what that means is, you know, <laughs> you better click that. Um, so you want to make sure that you click that so that you can kind of move around. So pretty cool stuff, right? And you can also see that there is a bunch of different... Um, uh, there's a bunch of different uh, options here, uh, and for the most part, you don't really need to uh, to worry about most of those. Um, you can change the bounciness, the friction, etc. Uh, but for the most part, that is what you need to know: gravity, speed, and bounce. All right. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video.